Hello, my name is Antonia Rawls and I'm going to talk about suicide. Um, both my boys killed themselves, one age 27 and one age 29. The 29 year old died in February last year and the 27 year old I found hanging on the 2nd of July just over eight weeks ago here in my house. What I want to do is to talk about how I'm feeling because how I'm feeling echoes so many of us who are dealing with this and the subject is very very big and there are so many responses that we have to suicide. Now I'm sitting here in my studio, I'm an artist, and I feel that I have on the one hand had my heart ripped out, and on the other hand I have been given grace and light to deal with this. And the journey is not something that I had expected, I wouldn't have expected to be able to sit up and talk about both my son's deaths so soon after they'd happened and to be okay with it. And I am okay. Here is, here is the paradox. I'm okay. I'm okay. I cry a lot. I go up and I go down. But something has shifted in my physical, spiritual and mental world which has opened doors for me and I'm going to investigate those doors probably on YouTube here. I think the first thing I'll say is that death isn't as bad as we make it out to be. I don't want to die. I don't want my boys to die. But I don't believe that anyone dies alone. And I also think that people check out of their bodies before, often before the pain in their bodies takes over. I suspect that both my boys did that. I've worked with end of life for many, many years through art and through um, being a soul midwife, an end of life, spiritual and emotional companion. That's great. But when it's your own children who you have to deal with, you have to find them. I found them both. Nothing you've learnt really applies to you because your heart is so affected. But when I say I don't think death is as bad as we make out, all the experiences I've had with end of life over the last 10 years, more than that, nearly 20 years, have made me see that there are miracles and there is an afterlife and there is light and there is goodness. And so the paradox now is I have found both my sons dead over the last 18 years, 18 months. I'm still talking, I'm okay, and I'm thinking that perhaps death isn't as bad as we think it is. I have to explore this, but I have such um, a thought that my boys, with their mental illness, their addictions, their pain, they are so not suffering, not at all. There is nothing for me to worry about ever again with them. I won't see them, I won't hold them. They were very disturbed people because of drugs and alcohol and mental health, but they were my boys and they were beautiful and they were perfect. And so part of this paradox about death not being as bad as we think it is, is that actually they're better off. They couldn't survive in this world and didn't. And I have to make sense of this because I'm left to do that. 
more soon. Bye-bye.